Insect Development or Metamorphosis Metamorphosis in Insects The word metamorphosis comes from the Greek which means to transform. Metamorphosis is the process of transformation of an immature larval individual into sexually mature reproducing adult. The transformed adult is completely different from larvae in form, structure, and habit. It is the way insects grow and mature. Their lives are divided into separate stages for resting, growing, and reproducing. Humans grow gradually. You began life as a baby and grow a little at a time until you're an adult. While you're growing, the basic plan of your body doesn't change. You have the same body your whole life. Insects grow in stages and the cycle of stages is metamorphosis. For many insects, the stages are so different from one another that you might not recognize them as the same animal. Types of metamorphosis. There are four types of metamorphosis in insects namely. No metamorphosis. Complete metamorphosis. Gradual metamorphosis. Incomplete metamorphosis. Most insects begin life as an egg and hatch within a few days of being laid. But there are some insects that will live through an entire season as an egg before hatching. The insects that stay in the egg longer need more time to grow and become strong enough to live outside of the egg. When the temperature becomes warm and comfortable these tiny insects will break out of their eggs and, depending on the species, will go through any of the above said types of metamorphosis. The following is the description of types of metamorphosis. No metamorphosis. This type of metamorphosis is also known as ametabolous development. In this type, the newly hatched creature looks like an adult except in size and differences in armature of spines and CD. Size is the major change between each and star. Some species may molt after sexual maturity. The young and adults live in the same environment and have the same types of mouthparts and feeding habits. These groups of very primitive, wingless insects include the Thysanura, silverfish, and Columbula, springtails. Simple metamorphosis. In simple metamorphosis, the insect goes through three basic changes, egg, nymph, and adult. The nymphs typically go through three to five instars. Some books further divide simple metamorphosis into gradual and incomplete types. In gradual metamorphosis, the newly hatched insect resembles the adult in general body form, but lacks wings and external genital appendages. With each successive molt, the nymph resembles the adult more than it did in the previous instar. Both nymphs and adults have the same type of mouthparts and food habits. Grasshoppers, squash bugs, and aphids are examples of insects with gradual metamorphosis. Incomplete metamorphosis is characteristic of some orders with aquatic nymphs, such as Ephemeroptera, mayflies, odonata, dragonflies, and Plecoptera, stoneflies. The changes that occur during the immature and star stages are more pronounced than in the case of insects with gradual metamorphosis but not nearly so dramatic as in complete metamorphosis. The young, called nymphs or naiads, are aquatic insects found in rivers and streams, while the strikingly different flyl like adult is aerial. Complete metamorphosis. Insects with complete metamorphosis have four developmental stages, eggs, larva, pupa, and adult. The insect may have several instars and molts as a larva, but it does not pick up the characteristics of the adult with each molting. The larval stage is primarily an eating and growing state. All larvae have chewing or modified chewing mouthparts. Various names apply to the larvae of insects from different orders. Beetle larvae are known as grubs, butterfly and moth larvae are called caterpillars, and the larvae of flies are known as maggots. Grubs typically have three pair of legs on the thoracic segment and no prolegs on the abdomen. Caterpillars have three pair of legs on the thoracic segment and up to five pair of prolegs fleshy leg-like structures on the abdomen. By comparison, sawfly larvae have more than five pair of prolegs. Maggots are typically legless. When the larvae have attained maturity, they cease to feed and following a period of inactivity transform into the pupa stage. In the pupa stage the insect usually remains inactive and does not feed, but undergoes marked physiological and morphological changes. The insect emerges from the pupa stage as a functional adult. Developmental Stages of Monarch Butterfly In the case of many insects, provisions are made by nature to protect the helpless pupa. Some seek protection in the ground, while others hide under the bark of trees. Some spin cocoons of silk, moths, or pupate in the last larval skin, flies. The primary function of the adult insect is reproduction. In many insect groups, the adults die soon after mating and laying eggs. Some adults do little or no feeding. 
insects with complete metamorphosis may have entirely different types of mouthparts and food habits in the larval and adult stages. For example, caterpillars, larvae of butterflies and moths, have chewing mouthparts and feed on a variety of materials, while the adults have siphoning mouthparts and normally feed on plant nectar. Flea larvae feed on inert organic materials with their chewing mouthparts, while the adults suck the blood of their hosts. Diapause is defined as a state or period of suspended activity in any stage of the life cycle. This state is initiated or terminated by environmental stimuli, such as photoperiod, length of the daylight, temperature, moisture, nutrition, or a combination of these. Diapause should not be confused with the cycles in metamorphosis. Because eggs and pupa are non-feeding stages, they are resistant to insecticides. This is important point to remember when dealing with insect management. Thanks for watching. Hit like and subscribe if you like the video.